Uh, what's up guys? Thanks for joining Tech with Terrence. I'm Terrence. And uh, today's video is about how I would learn CompTIA's Network Plus if I could start all over again. When you first start, you're probably gonna feel super confident. Um, then the more that you move on, you're gonna start feeling like you don't really know anything. Now, just keep in mind that that's normal, okay? What compelled me to just start leveling up, uh, start studying, buckling down, and then like eventually go after certifications, just like you guys, uh, like CompTIA's Network Plus. And here's the thing, I didn't get there just by reading through like a whole bunch of boring, dry content. I didn't, I really didn't. So to put things in perspective, I currently work at a company called Amazon, uh, but before that, I used to work at a company called Verizon Wireless, and it was like a call center. And uh, I did help desk slash technical support, and I basically just help people troubleshoot their devices, uh, submit escalations, and uh, just troubleshoot hardware. So yeah, I've definitely done a few things in IT before. To tell you what I changed, I first want to tell you about what I did. Um, before I got deep into tech, I always had like an interest in just trying to figure things out. Um, working at Verizon is how really I got a firsthand look at how tech works and how people relate to it. Uh, setting up devices, solving problems, and just talking to customers who really didn't know how to work their tech gear. That was really, like, that was my main job. Um, that experience is really, I think, what compelled me to just start leveling up. Uh, start studying, buckling down, and then like eventually go after certifications, just like you guys, uh, like CompTIA's Network Plus, uh, really just to move forward in my IT career. So yeah. What I learned, so when I started studying for the Network Plus, I dove into basically everything. So I dove into network topologies, uh, I dove into the subnetting, ports and protocols. Um, also, you guys probably, if you're studying too, you went over wireless standards, I did too. I did network security basics, I did troubleshooting methods, uh, network hardware. I'm trying to see if there's anything else I, I'm missing. Oh, cloud and virtualization concept, that was my favorite. Um, but yeah, the list, it just goes on and on, and yes, it was a lot. The most useful things that I had to learn, I had to say that they would be subnetting and the troubleshooting methodology. Those were the most useful things. Uh, after I finally wrapped my head around subnetting um, and how to just approach network issues like step by step, I realized how much more confident that I felt, not just uh, to take the exam, but just like in my everyday life and just like real life scenarios. And here's the thing, I didn't get there just by reading through like a whole bunch of boring, dry content. I didn't. I really didn't. So speaking of boring, dry content, I want to go over some of the resources that work best. Uh, if I could go back, I would completely just skip uh, the CompTIA cert master. Now, not to throw shade on CompTIA, but it was just it was like it was just like way too dry. And I had too much information crammed into like one place and it just didn't stick with me. So instead, I would immediately just start checking out some Udemy courses or actually better yet, uh, using Professor Messer's free YouTube course. Um, this dude literally breaks down everything so clear. He breaks down everything so clear and it just keeps it all engaged. And I think that's awesome. Professor Messer, uh, shout out to you. So this brings me to my main point. Don't overthink it and just don't overplan. There's no need to use every resource on the planet. Just pick one or two uh, Professor Messer or Jason Dion's Udemy course and just work with that. Um, no, you don't need any type of degree and no, you don't need to spend $500 on fancy software. You can, y'all, you can, or you can literally teach yourself and you can just do it without burning out. So once you've got down the basics, just don't keep watching the videos. You, you got to start testing yourself to see what you know. Uh, you can use apps like ExamCram, you can use Quizlet, or you can just take practice exams uh, from people like Jason Dion. Also, you probably want to start explaining the topics uh, that you've learned to someone else. Uh, if you can teach it, then you probably really know it. So if you have a wife, you're married, you have a friend, uh, pull them to the side, see if you can teach it to them. And that way you can see if you know it. As far as if there's anything to build or practice with Network Plus, no, there's not really anything that you need to build uh, when it comes to Network Plus. But practice, practice, practice. You can practice some things. So here's a quick reality check. Uh, when you first start, you're going to feel super confident, okay? Um, the more that you learn, uh, the more you're going to begin to actually feel like you really don't know anything, all right? Now, <laughs> don't worry, that that's normal, okay? Uh, it's called the Dunning-Kruger effect, and it really, it just hits everybody. So you look, go on uh, Google and just like look that up. So uh, if you've made it this far in the video, I appreciate you, and I'm just going to assume that you really like my videos or you just want to start a career in IT. But either way, I got you. Uh, if you're serious about getting into IT and passing that Network Plus exam, which I know that you are and which I know that you will, uh, just check the links in the description to get started and uh, just kind of look through some of the resources 
sources that I recommend. Um, and as always, uh, like, comment, and subscribe for more content just like this. And uh, let's keep, you know, let's keep going together and let's keep growing. So I'll uh, see you guys in the next video.